represent 17% of, of companies in the US, one seven. But they generate 37% in sales and 37% in jobs, that's why they're called workhorses, 37% of jobs and 36% of revenue. So what that means is that if you look at the south side of San Antonio, the west side, the east side of San Antonio, we've got these second stage companies that are creating so much economic value, but yet, because of the fact that they're not getting the support, they're not getting the resources, they're not getting the contracting opportunities, those families are not being transformed. We still have multi-generational illiteracy and poverty, even though that we're still recruiting. So I, what I challenge us is that we need to change that mindset and say, you know what, I am here, I am local. Second stage companies are creating tremendous, tremendous amount of value. We have proven sustainability. So then you ask me, well, why are you talking about second stage companies and the global chamber and the expert chamber and Port San Antonio? The reason is because the strategies align together. Like Max said it and Jenny said it, we cannot work in silos. We have to work as a tribe. So around the United States, I encourage you to go to the Edward Gold Foundation because there are cities like New York, cities like uh, Phoenix, cities like Orange County, California, Philadelphia, I'm gonna give you an example. This is a beautiful story, I used to live in Philadelphia. I used to work at Briar's Ice Cream Plant that used to be right across the street from the University of Pennsylvania. University of Pennsylvania is on the east side of um, Center City, they don't call them downtown Philly, they call it Center City. But it was riddled with prostitution, with drugs, the real estate housing was horrendous, you know, jobs, we couldn't place jobs because everybody kept failing the drug test. And there was just this very, look at San Antonio, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna tell you, but I'm sure they can think of a couple of images here in San Antonio 